Hey guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome to my playthrough of A Dark Room. Uh, it was a spooky text game I saw on the Nintendo eShop, so I wanted to pick it up. Uh, I'm a little sad there was no intro screen. It started me here and there was a bunch of, like, funky whispering people chit-chatting. It sort of died down. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what this is about other than it's a text-based adventure, so let's jump on in. Hmm. Awake. Head throbbing. Vision blurry. The voices say to survive. Directional buttons are to move cursor. A button to select. Plus or minus for language and game reset. The room is freezing. The fire is dead. Awake. Head throbbing. Vision blurry. The voices say to survive. Guess let's slide a fire. It's our, our only option. Whoa! Color change! The room is cold. A ragged strong stranger. Oh no. My dyslexia is gonna ruin reading this. This is a terrible font. Um oh no. This is a terrible font for dyslexics. A ragged stranger stumbles through the door and collapses in the corner. The fire is burnt. Okay, it keeps moving, right? You can't answer me. <laughs> I think it's supposed to simulate fire, but it, it's like throwing me off where I'm like, what am I reading? Oh, wait, does it think I'm selecting an option? Oh, am I timed? Oh, no, I'm, like, timed. Oh, no! Uh, uh, okay. So we're gonna restart because I... I don't know what's happening. Yes. Yes, because you've timed me in a game about reading. The room is freezing. The fire is dead. Awake. Head throbbing. Vision blurry. The voices say to survive. A ragged stranger stumbles through the door and collapses in the corner. A light from the fire spills out the windows. Dark. Uh, into the dark. Oh, no. Uh, soak, soak the fire. Uh, the room is freezing. Soak the fire. There's ferrets climbing all over me. So soak the fire. The light spills from the... Oh, no. Oh, no. A fire is burning. A, a silent forest? What? Uh... Wait, so what about the stranger who staggered in? And collapsed in the corner? Yeah, there would? Hope she's okay. Have to keep the fire going. Oh, man. Okay, so... Oh, no. That's not English at the bottom. Uh... Uh, okay. Plus ten wood, sweet! The stranger shivers and mumbles quietly. Her words are unintelligible. The room is warm. Oh, Jesus. Uh... To stoke fire. Okay. What, what am I doing? What? The stranger shivers. The builder resurrected? Uh... Crap wood? What is happening with this game? I don't know what's going on. Cartwood? The room is hot. I hope she's okay. I have to keep the fire going. I don't... Soak fire? The room is hot. Okay, that's... That's a good thing? The stranger girl shivers. Her breathing calms. The room is hot. Okay. She's woken up. Says she can build things, and she's a friend. Okay. Who are we? We're just in the woods? So we made a trap. Uh... A silent fo- is that- What does a silent forest mean? Uh... Trap wood? The builder says she can make a cart for carrying wood. Well, I think I did that prematurely. Traps? More traps to catch more creatures. Um, is this a spooky game? It seems spooky from the description. Sorry, ferrets are around me, so, like, I've got a whole meat, everybody. I'm so used to addressing Twitch chat, I keep talking to you like you're live when you're not. Uh, heart wood? Simple task brain solace gives purpose, can't give up. Okay. What does carding wood mean? The fire is roaring. That's a good thing. Check traps. 
Okay. So I'm getting more supplies when I check traps. The Builder Hope? Oh! Hut wood? She's woken up. Did, did she go to sleep? More traps to catch more creatures. Hut wood. The Builder puts up a hut out in the- Okay. So it comes in on the top. That definitely helps me a little. Okay. A lonely hut. Population 04. What? What do you mean population? I'm so confused. So what, we're building a civilization in the woods? Why? I can't well reflect on humble beginnings, Miles. Restless sleep looks upon the village, brings peace. A weathered family took up one of the huts. Okay. Uh, so... So, oh, this is like a civilization building game, but with text? Okay, so the, the brightness of the screen, I guess, indicates how the fire is? We really need a trade post at this point. Um... Which we need like 300 wood. I'm gonna be kind of just clicking these two buttons for a bit. Oh, good, another family joined the hut. All right. Restless sleep, the symbol task helps calm the nerve. I guess is that. Restless sleep, the voices speak of compass. Meat or it'll spoil, the builder says she can help repair. Leather could be useful, says the villagers could make it. Restless sleep, the voices speak of a forest. What voices are talking? To All right, not enough to build the trade post. Oh, I need a hundred fur? Jeebus. Um, I can still make more traps, right? Oh, the fire's getting low. A stranger arrives in the night. Uh, so we need... Maybe, like, another hut. Brett. The room is hot! That's gonna take ten fur. Oh no, I lied. The hut's just hundred wood. And we're so low on fur, I guess that's fine, because by the time we pick up more wood, or more fur, we should have more wood. Yeah, a lot of huts! Call us Hutta, because we got a lot of huts. Some of the traps have been torn apart. Large prints lead away into the forest. Not far from the village lies a large beast, its fur matted with blood. It puts up little resistance before the knife. Oh wow, we got a lot of freaking fur, holy cow! Guess what we making, gang? Oh, yeah. Who's ready for that? Boom! Now the nomads have a place to set up shop. They might stick around a while. Okay, so now we want to get a smokehouse because they mentioned the meat. Whoa. Okay. Compass. 400 fur, 20 scales... So it's, uh, wait, is this, okay, so underneath everything is usually what it needs. So I can get scales and teeth by trading fur? Fur seems so much harder to get, though.
scraps contain strange scales too, bits of meat, scraps of fur. Oh, I gotta make more traps because some of them broke. The builder's worried? Go cows. Yeah. Her reluctance shows? What? Why are you worried? I don't follow. Nothing spooky's even happened. What's a lodge for? Oh, okay. There's a hunting lodge now. We're now a modest village. Those are torn apart, princely. Well, we're gonna track him. Yeah. Lodge beast. Is there a world out there beyond the village? Yes. Looking past the edge of the forest, figures dance in the shadows. 400 fur. What on earth even is a compass? No compass I use ever needed fur. I'll tell you that much. I'm worried too, Builder. It's okay. Shuffling noises can be heard just ahead. Shadows dance. A bundle of sticks lie near a bush, wrapped in coarse furs. The night is silent. That's a little concerning. Oh! Oh, there's a hunter! I should exchange gatherers for hunters. That's fine. The thirst to explore grows. The compass- I'm working on it! He worries. What is she worried about? I started this village from nothing! Perhaps, and then we're gonna make that compass. Let's see what the heck happens. Fearful? Girl, what are you afraid of? High five, everybody. The compass spins. Have to venture out. She says not to. She warns of death. Leather for finer things. Must push them. Need to venture further. The food from the smokehouse will help. What? Make them work through eternal night. What? They are slaves. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. That was, uh, something. The villagers, the fatigue in their eyes? Backbreaking labor, no rest for the villagers? Oh. I'm sorry. Workshop. Is this a commentary on the means of production? I'm sorry, did that say slaves? <gasps> no! I don't like this anymore! <laughs> I built a hut. I'm so sad right now, what? I hate that the slaves. All right, let's see what the dusty path does. Zero bag of 100 weight, 10 water, 25 HP, compass northeast. Um, bark? Uh. What does the H mean? The world fades. Collapse from starvation? Okay, I don't really get that, but alright. Builder, stop being sad, okay? Died out there, sure of it. Saw her face before collapsing, a glowing locket around her neck. Brought back to life by her? How? 
torches to light the caves, spears to take lives. Okay. Okay. I guess, yeah, a bone spear. Spear's not elegant, but it's pretty good at stabbing. Leather armor. Like, I'm a- I'm a kind leader, you don't have to be slaves! I have said slaves way too many times in this video. I'm very uncomfortable about it. An old wanderer arrives. He smiles warmly and asks for lodgings for the night. Yes! Not, oh, I need 50 cured meat. All right. I guess we gotta start curing the meat. All right, we're gonna try embarking again. Uh, we're gonna take a bone spear, torch, two meats. An old house remains here, once white, siding, yellow, and peeled. The door hangs open, water replenished. A man charges down the hall, a rusty blade in his hand. Excuse me? Oh my god, there's combat? What? Am I in an apocalyptic setting? So I just killed a man. Oh, wow, he had a lot of meat on him. Damn, my freaking inventory is full already. So these are like houses? Oh, no. Oh, did it start me at full health? I said you're thinking I still gonna have crap health from the last battle. Dude's trying to kill me out here. I hate that everything uses up ten weight. A snarling beast, no. Okay. Oh, you only have five health. Oh no, but I'm gonna keep missing, aren't I? the leather. Oh, it doesn't have any. I'll take the fur. Whew. I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting, like, actual ass combat. Wow. So, I started off pretty unsure about this game, but it's it's interesting. It's a, if anything, it's a text-based craft survival game? With spooky elements, like again, I, th I think we're in an apocalyptic setting. Um, where'd all of our wood go? Oh, I'm using up more wood than we're making. We've got like 200 cured meat, so let's start collecting wood again. Fur two. Wow, we're at 200 leather, damn. Um. Okay, so wow. I was gone a while and I screwed up a lot of our resources. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Lodgings. Not enough. No, I've got like, I had like a bunch of cured meat. Okay, I guess no. We have 270. Oh, I don't have any torches. What are you a freaking torch for? All right. All right. Let's make some torches, apparently. Oh, do we increase our weight or our armor? I guess our weight, because right now we haven't been taking that much damage. So we start there. 
Do I still have my bone spear? No. Okay, so I guess we make a bone spear. And a torch. Let's make two torches in case that old man comes back, apparently. I know you're sad, Builder. I'm sorry. I didn't think it would go this way. You should have warned me. Really, this is your fault. I'm sure everyone in the comments agrees with me. Hey, Builder. Build me another hut for more people, I guess. Ooh, we're a large village. That's so bad. Builders just like probably drinking themselves in an early grave at this point. So I guess we'll go out again. Now I got a rucksack. Ooh, I wonder how big my, my carry weight is. A nomad shuffles into view, laden with makeshift bags, bound with rough twine. Won't say from where he came. Prices are good, however. Buy bait. Interesting. I'll buy one bait. Wait, let's say check baits. A hundred baited traps? Oh my god. Whew! That was a lot. Damn! Let's embark again. Wanna bring one bone spear. Oh no, I saw I lied. One bone spear. One torch. And oh yeah, 300 weight? Heck yes. Bring two meat. Embark. Okay. We've got this house here. Um go inside. Man, crazy men in their houses. Just deal with the fact that I'm ransacking. I wonder why that's grayed out like that. Water replenish? Side. Am I supposed to be watching my water intake? I guess I should have stoked that fire before I left. Give me I keep that fire going or it gets crazy town. Oh yeah, the room is hot. When do they stop being slaves? I still can't get over that part. Armor? Yeah. Leather's not strong, but it's better than rags. Now that I've made some extra torches, why can't I bring a jewel with me? Why can't I go down to my bone spear? Um... Oh no. I can't give myself any more torches. All right. I guess we're just embarking. Okay. What's V? The mouth of the cave is wide and dark. Can't see what's inside. I leave because of the fire. Flies have been showing up missing. Thieves. Mm. I'm trying left and right. Neither of those are working. She looks weary, almost as if death affects her too. The locket around her neck glows brightly, a healing light. I can't give myself a spear or a torch, so I don't, I don't know what to do. Hi everyone, I had to do a giant cut because I encountered a bug where, um, I, I think I bring it up maybe before the cut, I'm not sure. When you pick up the jewel, it bugs out the menu, where you can't give yourself bone spears or, or torches, because you can't select them. They're over weirdly on the left side. The way around this is I have to take my switch out of the dock and use the touch screen to add them. So I'm going to do a cut now every time I'm on the embark menu, where I do that on the touch screen. Um, also, 
apparently your your keys up here act as yes or no like select buttons so i put this down on my knee while i was adjusting and explaining this the first time and i missed a trader who was going to teach me how to explore the map for free so a big suggestion which i'll even reiterate at the end when i talk about it to small indie developers is please don't make six different buttons accept buttons so when they're accidentally touched you make bad decisions with that let's get back to it okay so we found that weird cave i'm gonna go there the earth here is split as if bearing an ancient world the remains of an old camp sit just inside the cave bed rolls torn and blackened lay beneath a thin layer of dust i mean i guess i'll i'll take I forgot to start the fire before I left. Jesus! Cave lizard! Cave lizard! That's right. Back it up. Another one? Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Feels bad, man. Keep missing, cave lizard! I died. So the cave sucks. I gotta take a lot more meat with me. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'm trying this cave one more time. I've got like eight meats on me. Excuse me? You can't just bop me like a bop it? Rude ass animal. The body of a wanderer lies in a small cavern. Rot's been to work on it, and some of the pieces are missing. Can't tell what left it here. <gasps> yes, iron sword. Um, take a torch. Yeah. The torch. The the torch sputters and dies in the damp air. Darkness is absolute. Oh yeah, iron sword for the snarled beast. And what? Small supply cache is hidden at the back of the cave. Oh, hell yes. I... No, I don't want the leather. What's a bolus? Is that a weapon? Leia! What's a bolus? When did I get to 320? What? Oh, the iron sword weighs a lot. I'm not passing up another iron sword. Now we're going back, because I'm not losing that stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at all this cool stuff I got. Ratchet noises can be heard from the storeroom. Something is in there. Well, crap. We gotta investigate that. Some wood is missing. The ground is littered with small scales. Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of crap. We gotta trade for iron and steel. Damn. Can we make it? Yeah, we can make it! A cask, I'm assuming... Okay, how do we make iron? I assume we have to make a building that makes iron, right? Are we not... Poor builder is still so depressed. Can I only trade for steel and iron? Is that uh that sucks? I mean I do have a crap ton of everything else. Alright, let's see, let's see what making things I actually need. Okay. I need iron armor. I need a hundred iron? Jesus! Okay. Um 20 iron for a cask. I can do that. What's a convoy? Apparently I should loot all the iron off that corpse. An old wanderer arrives. He smiles warmly and asks for lodgings for the night. Yes! In exchange, the wanderer offers his wisdom. Oh.
Because combat is timed and not turn-based, I think I'd like to evade more. I think I'd like to get hit less. I like how I, I commented how useless the trade post is, and now it's like, ah, can't make your own iron, can ya? Something has been torn apart, large print, let's kill it! The tracks is here after just a few minutes, the force of silence. Excuse me? I just keep destroying our traps! I just got the 30 traps, you... But. The giant but. Okay. So I've spent a bit of time making a bunch of things. I had a fun-loving back and forth with fur and scales. Uh, because the part where I said scales are easy to get came back to bite me. So I'm going to stoke the fire twice and head out. That's what I'm talking about. 30 water, baby! Oh! Oh, I cleared the cave! I guess we'll go north? Hi. The Iron Mine! Yes! Oh my god, please, yes. A large creature lunges, muscles rippling in the torchlight. I have an iron sword. Who do you think you are? Oh, he's actually kicking my butt. And what? Okay, we're taking all the scales, because we've learned that scales are really good. Um... We don't need teeth. Something that will probably also bite me in the butt later. The mine is now safe. Okay, so I don't make it, I mine it. Okay. Yo, you, you haven't- I need a ton of iron. I need so much iron. Okay, woof! Look at that 21 iron! Stoke the fire. Check, check the traps. Roads are for safety. Okay. Blood for iron. I get it, they're slaves! You've told me this like a million times! I'm sorry! Their power grows as the fire dies. Whose? Whose power grows as the fire dies? Iron flesh. Alright. Fine. The builder is distant. Oh, so they're just really not happy with me. A beggar arrives. Ask for only spare furs to keep him warm at night. I'm growing. I'm gonna give a modest donation. A pile of furs left on the ground. Walk away. The beggar says thanks and leaves a small pile of teeth behind. Let's go back to getting a lot of wood up there because I need to start- I need to make another hut. And we've slowed down a lot on our wood production. Honestly, I don't think we need to make that much iron. An old wanderer arrives. He smiles warmly and asks for lodgings for the night. Yes. In exchange, he offers his wisdom. Precision? Oh yeah. See if I miss now. Alright, you all ready? That's the thing. So we're good on iron, so I don't really need to go to the mine. So I gotta watch my water intake at this point. Scavenger punk. Small suburb lays ahead? Empty houses, searched and peeled, broken streetlights stand, rustling light. Hasn't great uh, light hasn't graced this place in a long time. So we're in an apocalypse. Hey, you have your own cooldown? What am I just Fear in one hand, thing in the other? <laughs> oh my god! I have been doing so much more damage. Making all your cloth. That I use up all my bowls, so I gotta carry more. An overturned caravan is spread across the pock market street. It's been picked over by scavengers, but there's still some things worth taking. Oh, I forgot to soak the fire before I left. Um. Something's causing a commotion a ways down the road. A fight, mate. I 
I gotta, I gotta head back after this, because I'm assuming... I'm assuming I'm doing damage to my people by not keeping that fire lit. I'm just gonna take everything, because I gotta head back. Please don't everyone be dead. Yeah, I think production stops when the fire goes out, is the problem. I embarked while the fire was low like a dummy, because, like, I wasn't paying attention to the color. Thieves? What am I supposed to do about that? Hmm. A gunshot rings through the trees. Well-armed men charged out of the forest, firing into the crowd? What? After a skirmish, they're driven away, but not without losses? What? Wait, why did they get guns? I don't have guns. I'm tilted. So I'm at cap capacity. I can't build anymore. I guess I just got to explore at this point. Shot rings out from somewhere in the grass. Oh, you messing. You messing with the wrong scavenger! That? That punk steal on my cured meat who I just fought before? Well, I can only take his bullets, but not his gun? Okay. I can't believe that last dude stole all my meat! I gotta go all the way back! I collapsed from starvation. I lost the steel sword I had. The villagers haul a filthy man out of the storeroom. Say his folk have been skimming the supplies. Said he, be, he should be strung up as an example. Yes, he should. He's been stealing from me. I've been playing this game for two and a half hours, and he's been stealing from me, like, the entire time. Like, I don't want to be ruthless, but what the F, man? I really shouldn't kill him. It's bad enough the games where you're making me call them slaves. I really shouldn't kill him. But I'm tilted. And I want to. But I won't, because I'm a softy. The man says he's grateful, says he won't come around anymore. Shares what he knows about, this, about sneaking before he goes. Did I get a perk from that? Hell yes! Better avoid conflict in the wild! Heck yes. Mm. So I basically capped out on meat at this point. As you can see, because meat's not really used for anything. Um, I also realized apparently you need like one meat for every three steps you take while you're out there, so I haven't been taking enough. I'm gonna take like 20 meat. Oh my. Campfires may burn the entrance of the mine. Then mill about weapons ready. Okay. All the meat. Thank you. Wow, they're very weak, and I feel bad. They've got, like, ten health. I'm going to murder them. Sorry, I want to make sure I got to, like, full health, because I I'm learning about how important that is. Iron. All the meat because it'll get used up, so that's fine. The camp is still save the crackling fires, the mine is now. Is that how I make steel? All 
All right, well, I'm gonna head back to the camp. So I don't need to pick up all this meat. I thought I was gonna explore more. I like how I have bullets, but no rifles. Eld Wanderer arrives. He smiles warmly and lasts for lodging for the night. Yes. Yes! I've got all the upgrades, y'all. He warns of greed. Far. Tears in her eyes. She says to stop venturing out. This is about the dangers of, like, building civilization. I'm sorry? What I gotta do, lady? Oh, you're resenting? Okay. Yes! Need a hundred coal. Steel works, baby! Gunshot rings to the trees while our men charge. Ah, oh, come on! After a skirmish, they're driven away, but not without losses. You? Okay, so... Oh my god, they cut our population in half! Holy crap. We have 9,000 meat. So we can stand... That's fine. How much cured meat? We have 900 cured meat. Okay. Let's do this for a bit because we have so much of the other supplies just to speed it up. What skill did I learn? All right, I'm going to wait to stoke the fire, but I keep getting these events like while I'm trying to... Because the thing is I have to take the switch out to set up my embark, and then I keep getting events every time I do that, and then I have to fuddle with like the Elgato because when I take it out, the Elgato panics. Whoa. Like I think I just did the right there. See further! So C is for coal. That's another cave down there. But, like, I don't really need, like, caves of mysteries at this point. I guess I don't really know what I need. I'm just kind of searching for, like, endgame? Small silver blades ahead, empty houses. Oh my god, I wreck now! I am a slayer. I am inconquerable. A small basket of food is hidden under a park bench with a note attached. Can't read the words. Interesting, I don't know how to read? Or... The man sends over a dead wanderer and notices he's not alone. Oh, sorry about your friend. Also, sorry I had to kill you, but you tried to kill me first. Oh yeah, extra steel sword. Meet the wanderer's rags, clutch in one of his many ha many hands. Clutch in one of its many hands. What? A glint of steel seemed worth killing. <gasps> All right. Was that a mutant I just killed? Okay, I don't know what B is. So now... That didn't... A huge hole is cut deep into the earth, evidence of past harvest. They took what came... They took what they came for and left. Alien alloy? What the f... What?! I'm sorry, did aliens destroy the Earth? Is that what this game is? Holy bananas! A battered highway sign stands guard at the entrance to this once great city. The towers that still stand jut from the landscape like a ribcage of an ancient... Large shanty town sprawls across the street. Faces darkened by soot and blood stare out from crooked huts. Awkward. More squatters are crowding around. Someone throws a stone. Am I the bad guy? Is this a whole town fighting me? Am I, am I like, fighting an entire freaking crowd right now? Oh, it says a youth lashes out with a tree branch. Dude, that youth had a lot of freaking health! The young settler was carrying a canvas sack. It contained traveling gear and a few trinkets. There's nothing else here. Guess I'll head back now. A pack of snarling beast pours. Excuse me? 
The fight is short and bloody. The beasts are repelled. The villagers retreat toward the Ah, come on! Oh, we only lost one. That's fine. <laughs> I say that's fine. That sounds awful. You know what I mean. Alright, so I'm gonna lower steel production, because at this point we're doing really well in steel. I'd like to also produce iron. Uh, and some coal. Also, I want to back up fur production, because we need fur for trading. I should use up, like, half of our meat, finally. Oof. I'm impressed how much that actually catches up on you, where it's not, like, too completely easy to keep earning and earning and earning. Alright, let's venture out again. Ooh, what's F? Got a new landmark. I know what F is. A battle was fought here long ago. Batter technology from both sides lays dormant in the blasted landscape. So we fought aliens. There was an alien war. The next fight, I'm gonna have to... We're gonna head back. We have a lot of stuff. Lasers! Oh my god. Okay. So there was a giant... Aliens invaded and we died. That's basically what happened. Warmonger. Oh, I can make grenades and batteries now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try taking a laser with me. I mean, I only have... How many bullets do I have? I got 24 bullets? That's not bad, actually. Okay, so I've been exploring the map this whole time. There's been a good two hours of footage I've cut at this point. And there's an S. I don't believe we've seen S before. Check it out. Those are already set up at the mine's entrance. The mine? Oh, oh, steel! Fire, I hate... Oh boy. I'm fighting soldiers. It's gonna be tough. Sulfur. Okay, well I gotta head back, so I'll take as much as I can. They all stare sadly back. Blackened faces from the soot. She whispers murderer within you thought. Saw an armory out there. We'll force her to build one. Oh. So this got bad. The builder has surrendered. So my village hates me at this point. Is basically what's happening. Warrior race, Jesus. Oh, do I have five alien? Oh yeah, I do. That's a war mantle. Warrior once more. Is that for my defenses? Because that would be toit. Alright, so we're up to a W, also a new symbol. The familiar curves of a wanderer vessel rise up from the dust and ash. Luckily, lucky that the natives can't work the mechanism. However, it might fly again. Airplane? She screams at the sight of the ship. She says, so much death has been brought to this world. She says, history has repeated itself, just like with him. The jeweled locket around her neck begins low. With a distraught look, a look of hatred, he vanishes into nothing. Her jeweled locket left behind. The flames flicker and disappear. Warning. Oh no! Ah. Uh, the flames flicker and disappear. What? So what happens now? What happens now? A wanderer starship breathing. Am I gonna try and leave the planet? The starship glows in the presence of the locket. Okay, so I, I need alloy. So, I can't stoke the fire or anything. 
So at this point, I'm just gaining alloy. Aliens came and wrecked everything. We had this giant war. <clears throat> um, glowing locket is somehow related. Oh, it's so weird having this color scheme. The glowing locket. Was she an alien? Was she one of them? Did they come here and just destroy everything? I don't know what's gonna happen while I'm out. At this point, I'm just looking around for parts, right? Alright, so I found that I actually have some jewels. Going back to that hut I found earlier, which I don't think was cut from the video me finding it. I don't remember at this point. I've had so many weird deaths and stuff. Oh, uh, let's see. Deep in the swamp is a moss-covered cabin. An old wanderer sits inside, seemingly in a trance. The wanderer takes the jewel and nods slowly. He speaks of once leading the great fleets to the, fle to the fresh worlds. Unfathomable destruction to fuel wanderer hungers. His time here, now, is imminent. He asks about her. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to lift off, because I, I, at this point, I'm just waiting on fur. And like, I don't know, I've collected all the al alloy, made some alloy, like, I'm gonna try lifting off. I'm gonna see what happens. Try and get off this rock, huh? The sky, black, haunting. The air begins to thin, hard to breathe. Temperature drops, ship's windows are cool to the touch. Horizon, dark, desolate, the windows begin to freeze. Scars of history can be seen on the planet's surface. By the way, dick move to put story font while you're dodging super bullets, asteroids, whatever these are. This world doesn't want anyone to escape, oh my god. Must be free from this prison, must break through. A wall of asteroids begins to sink. A heart begins to sink. So cold. So cold. Thoughts wander to fire. Through ice windows, lonely planet fades into the distance. Oh my god, we made it. Shivering, gasping for air, must find her. The locket glows, must find her. That's it? Okay. So, that was a dark room. Um... Oh, the end question mark? Hi. The end question mark. So it loops, because this seems like you just crashed, and you had like an amnesia fit, I guess. Alright. A dark room. Um, I thought I was in for a text-based adventure game. That was the, the store page, I think, even said so. Um, you know, with choices and, like, uh, simple scenery descriptors, things like that. Uh, I was not ready for what is basically a craft survival text game. Um, not ready for that at all. I wasn't ready to, like, be gathering resources. By this point, I have played this game for five and a half hours. Uh, from my guesstimation, I think this video ends up as only, like, a 40-minute video. <laughs> Because most of the game was just resource gathering. And there really weren't many prompts. Uh, all of the, like, places you could scavenge for things all had, like, the same text, same enemies, which I think you'll notice even through this playthrough, some of that's kept in. Um, so, there was basically a lot more, like, gameplay to this than I was expecting. And I don't like to call games repetitive. But definitely the repetitive aspect of, like, collecting things, going back, ba the balancing act of my slaves, which I, I understand is probably a commentary of uh, industry and, like, you know, evolution of civilization, but, ugh, it was brutal. I wanted to be nice to these people. I wasn't given that option. Um, so, like... And then I'm confused. So this girl we found with the locket, was she an alien? Did she yeet off the planet? 
and we went in our ship to find her? Question mark? Um... The story was the best part. I'm intrigued by the story. I thought it was really cool, actually, especially in, like, the horoscope. I still, I do think I still consider this kind of a horror game. It's an apocalyptic game, so it's definitely, you know, ruined cities, sadness, darkness. Um, the ambiance, too, for sure. But yeah, um, it, it just could have been a lot shorter. And I wonder if maybe I over-farmed in the game, but... A lot of it, too, was, like, the map, right? So I had to keep replenishing my water. But if you notice on the map, all the water replenish spots weren't near the corners at all. So I basically had to, like, yeet myself into death to see if anything was in the corners for more alien alloy. Oh, so yeah. Um, that was a dark room. If you enjoyed this playthrough and you're new to the channel, be sure to drop that subscription. We do uh, horror games once a week. Um, generally it's me, or, you know, my lovely wife, Leia, is with me. Uh, if you like Room Terror, she does all that stuff. You can drop that like, leave a comment, it helps us in the algorithm, especially with, like, these little indie games, because despite the fact that I'm very mixed on this, a lot of hard work did go into it. And, you know, I played all, almost six hours, even though it was, like, driving me nuts, because I wanted to know the ending. I was intrigued by the story. So, props to, uh, I think it's the creator was Michael something. Good job on the game. Definitely could have been shorter, though. That's, that's, I think that's my biggest thing, is that this could have been... I was expecting, like, an hour, maybe two-hour experience um, with something like this. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, as always, special shout-out to our sponsor tier Patreon, Nejikuma. You and all the paid subscribers help keep the channel growing and the content flowing. And if you like what we do, we are full-time content creators, so uh, subscriptions, buying from our store, all that fun stuff helps us keep making free content, like comics, podcasts, and these... You can find all the links in the description. Thanks again for watching. Remember to stay safe, stay positive.